Hello, today I'm going to show you how to charge lithium ion batteries that are like this. Uh, this is from a computer uh, laptop. Uh, it could be from uh, power tools, it could be from any uh, electronic or basically any battery operated tools, anything. It doesn't have to be exactly like this, they don't have to look like this. As long as you have lithium ion batteries and they have more than two points of contact to charge. With the two point contact I've shown you in my previous videos how to charge them if you don't have a battery charger for them anymore. Well, if you have batteries like this with more than two points of contact, as you can see for, for this example I've obviously broken the casing of this uh, laptop battery case. Um, so this is a uh, pack of uh, one, two, three, four, and eight uh, cells of lithium lithium ion batteries, and as you can see, probably you have one, two, three, four, five, six slots here, and that gets connected to the back of the laptop, which will have its own charger. But like I said. Uh, mainly I'm doing this for power tools uh, but because I don't have that type of power tool and I've, I've got this one open and I can show you so I'm using this it works for any type of uh, lithium ion batteries uh, packages that have more than two points of contact even with two points of contact you can do that but uh, these boards that I'm just going to introduce uh, the start from 3, 4, 5 and go on to up to 13 uh, cells of batteries. So if I just uh, show you, ignore these wires. These wires are just for me. I've taken them out for my own projects. I'm using them for different things. Ignore those. Um, if you notice how they have uh, spot welded these batteries together at the moment these things these cells are two by two for this case in this case every tool is different every device is different every um, power tool you might have or computers or laptops you might have they're all different so don't take this as a i'll tell you a formula how to do this but at the moment and uh, what i'm trying to explain is for for example in this case they've put two batteries, two uh, cells connected positive to positive ends and negative to negative ends just to uh, increase the current. So uh, it doesn't matter if they're paired like this with two cells uh, connected in parallel and then all of them in series. So you can see the positive end of one pair is connected to the negative end of another pair or the other way around and, and then in the end you have if I count these wires and uh, the plates that are connected to the ends of these you have one here two that's the second one three that's connected here four and then five so this would be a, a battery cell with five contacts one, two, three, four, five. It de depending on how many battery cells or pairs of cells that you, you, you might have in a, in a pack of your uh, battery operated tool or device, whatever it is, then you have the number of um, contacts that you have from each battery. So if you ignore one row of this, basically, if you ignore uh, the pairs of batteries and you just consider each one as one battery one let's say one big battery the voltage stays the same so if this the voltage of each each cell is uh, 4.2 or 3.6 it doesn't matter uh, the voltage stays the same only the current increases if you had three it would just increase the current but the voltage would be staying the same but the number as you increase in, in series then that would increase the overall voltage for instance if you have each uh, cell being 3.7 volts uh, and you have one two three uh, four 
four of them in series, four times 3.7 is 14.8 volts. And if, it, if they are 4.2 volts each, then four times 4.2 is 16.8 volts. So overall, the, the overall voltage from the last positive to the uh, first negative or the other way around is uh, that much. Uh, so that's uh, the voltage you would need just a little bit over that uh, overall voltage. You need that much voltage power supply to use to charge that. But what kind of board or regulator you use, uh, then that's where these boards come in. Now, just put this away. Uh, this is a circuit diagram for this type of board. board. Uh, there are different various types of boards, uh, regulators, depending on how many points of contact or how many batteries you have, uh, you need to charge. For instance, this one, it comes like this with a connect, connecting um, cable or plug and socket on the board. Um, you can't go wrong, you can't connect it wrong way around, so it only gets in one way and you know the other way you can try but it won't go in. So that way it just goes in and locks in and you have one of them call it negative and, and you can see on the board it says uh, negative B or B negative and then it goes on B1, B2, B3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and, and 6, the 6th one is free. Uh, it shows the diagram of this in my uh, store uh, in the pictures, you can see it clearly how it's wired up. I just do one of them uh, then you can see um, the rest are similar. So for instance, this, this one is for a pack of four, one, two, three, four. Remember what I said, this is considered as pack of four batteries. Although there are eight batteries altogether, but there are four batteries because each pair is considered as one because they are connected in parallel. So you have to just open that power tool that you have and see how it's connected up, depending on how many cells you have um, or how many pairs of cells you have in one pack you can choose one of these boards that I have on my, in my store and pick them and the wiring is uh, in the description in the body of the pictures it shows clearly with the description how to you know connect them up but as an example I'll just show you this one example this is wired up like this so if you have these batteries, I've put down here 3.7 volts to 4.2 because uh, these boards can um, cover voltages of each cell being 3.7 volts to 4.2 uh, two volts each and they're connected like this so if the batteries are connected like that all you have to do use this the existing wires so you you probably have the existing wires like this like this one you have these uh, plates coming to a uh, board you can just get rid of you can get rid of it or you can keep it but bypass it just connect the wires to those solder the wires to the uh, to where these um, leads or connections are the plates are uh, obviously they'll have their own insulation so you have to probably etch it or you know in, um, get, get rid of the insulation somehow and strip the insulation and then solder that either there or where the board is or get rid of the board completely you know snip it off and then put your own new board there. Uh, this is the case, this is the same uh, with power tools, with, with everything, anything that has, like I said, power, lithium ion batteries. So the, the way this, this is wired is uh, like this. So you have uh, two points of uh, input 
that is your power coming in that comes in from your uh, power adapter from the 230 volts if you're in the UK or in the US 110 volts or whatever various uh, countries are dif different so you have that power adapter uh, which I have again in the store you have that connected to the uh, socket uh, and then this end is the output that gives you the output jack uh, something like this uh, basically the same as what you have for your laptops or iPads or whatever you have, so something like this. Uh, but the, the ones that I have on my store, uh, they're variable, so you have different types of um, different types of adapters with various uh, variable voltage, output voltage, and uh, various current supplies. So you can have different types of current. The more the current, the sooner it charges, obviously. But this is the regulator that regulates that all. The, the jack that you have here also, uh, some people ask me how do you connect this to the board? Well, you either you have two options. You either chop it, strip the wires, and then connect. You find out which one is positive, which one is negative with a voltmeter, um, or you you will know when you strip it uh, with the colors, color coding. And uh, Positive goes to this end and it says P positive on the board. I've written it here, but like I said, uh, if you look at the board uh, closely, you have uh, these printed on the PCB, P positive, P negative. Uh, so that voltage goes in there, for instance, in this case for four batteries is 18 volts in supply. Um, or 18.5 volt, 18 volts or 18 volts supply with 3.5 amps will do. Uh, that will be your input. So you just basically sold the two wires here. Or the other option is uh, connect this jack to one of those um, uh, PCB connectors that again I have on my store. You can connect this to that and then you have a terminal uh, connection from the other end then you connect the wires to that and connect the wires the other ends of the wires to this just make sure the polarity is observed and then uh, you have uh, one two three four five points of contact here you connect wires uh, from the batteries to this and they are marked on the PCB as well B minus uh, B positive or B negative B positive and that is the positive and negative of the ba batteries basically the the final negative end of the battery cell series and uh, the other final end of the positive end of the battery series this is one two three four if you go from this end or the other end and these are connected to these points so you have three points here of contact and two here as five points of contact for four series of batteries. Um, in my uh, series of boards that I have, this is called 4S because it's got four series of cells of battery. Now each cell again could be just one cell or it could have, uh, you could have had two batteries as one cell like this, like that example I showed you. So it wouldn't make any difference, you still use the same if you had things like this, for instance. I'll just get rid of that so it's not confusing. And a pack of cells like this, minus to minus, positive to positive, minus. Uh, sorry, this has to be connected to this and then it has to be connected to that. If you, if you have anything like this, it's still considered as a pack of a battery charger reg or regulator 4S for this um, series that I've, you know, kind of named uh, in my store, 4 series, because you have 4 batteries in series. And um, one of them is just the end of the positive end. 
Yes. Same with the these. This is for five batteries, and the other one, the last one, is for uh, up to thirteen uh, batteries. Uh, all you have to do, you have to bypass or basically use jumpers to, to short shorten the um, the ones you don't use, and and. And just bring it down to the point that you want to the number of batteries that you want for instance as I've shown in the diagram and explained in the description if you want for instance you can see in the diagrams how the batteries are connected they are in series each cell or each pair pairs of cell or each cluster of cells connected in series uh, all in all um, and you use it if, if you have 13 then you go all the way to 13 uh, the minimum you can go for these the minimum is six it'll start from six batteries up to 13 batteries your overall total cells number of cells you have maybe is eight then you connect it as normal up to eight and then from 8 onward it's all shorted you have a short circuit that's all I have to say and uh, it's all described and explained in the pictures and in, in the diagrams as well so it's all very self-explanatory so I hope you enjoyed this video and everything is like I said self-explanatory and you know it doesn't need much of an explanation in details in more details because it's already uh, all explained as it is and these boards can be fitted in the existing packs and like I said you can just get rid of the existing boards the regulators or the protection boards and you can get rid of them and put these in, in, in their place or just keep them as they are wire them in the same place and then um, or wire the, the, the batteries and take the wires out of the pack somehow from a hole or something you just make a hole drill it and then stick this on the outside of the um, battery pack uh, especially with the battery operated tools for instance if you have a tool like um, you know drills and stuff like that then you have a pack like that you make a hole there uh, open it uh, wire up or use the existing wires like I said uh, bring them out and connect them to the to the to the board outside you can make a uh, improviser box a plastic box or something seal it and um, glue it there and then put that connection for the power supply to go in there charge it after it's charged it out and uh, simple as that this works with any type of lithium-ion batteries but you just have to choose the right board for for that number of series of cells I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, please don't forget to share and subscribe and help others like yourself to uh, find my video. Thank you very much and goodbye till next video.